I think this is number six. <laughs> In 21 months. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. My name is Kinelo Mioli and if you're here for the first time, welcome. I really hope that you will like it, share and subscribe. We are officially on the road to 500 subscribers and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> so guys, in this week's video, I have decided to tell you guys about all of my nanny stories. My son is currently, how old is he yet? 21 months old <laughs> and we've had a couple of nannies and you know it's funny because I used to think that if you're changing nannies a lot you are the problem <laughs> you know just like they say when you're in a relationship they always say no you are the problem and I really don't think I am and I have a different view so I, I see that a lot of us have been through a couple of nannies and um, by the way I, I made a video of what questions to ask a potential nanny and I'll link it up here so I'm sure that will be useful as well so guys I might need the whole day but I'm gonna keep it short so when I was pregnant I had someone that was helping me out twice a month and she came to clean so when i was pregnant it was only natural for me to consider her to help us with the baby right although from the very beginning i didn't want someone to necessarily help with the baby i thought no i'm fine i don't want my baby to bond more with the nanny than me as his mom but after i gave birth i didn't go home so my grandmother who came to help us was not too familiar with kid there too small maybe she had forgotten but she was she was a bit old so she wasn't too useful i'm so glad that i actually did the antenatal class so i actually knew what i was doing and i didn't struggle too much in terms of what i was doing but the baby was a lot for me and he was not sleeping and he was sick which i will get into on a different video so after i gave birth soon after i gave birth because she was here i i would ask i, would, I told her that your job will still be to clean but there are times that i will need your help maybe to nap or maybe for you to help bath baby and yeah so she would come and clean and sometimes i would ask her to help me with baby but i soon realized that she doesn't like babies because she didn't talk to my baby she didn't look at my baby when she would sit with my baby she would sit with him all day and not even utter a single word i saw that this lady doesn't like his and she's miserable and i don't want someone who's miserable to be looking after my baby so i let go of her and i wasn't brave enough to tell the real reason i i can't remember what i told them but yeah i stopped i yeah i stopped using her services and i got someone that i got as a referral from twitter <laughs> i know guys but I was searching, you know, like Facebook has like these million groups that has people that are looking for jobs, any jobs. And you you want to have someone who was a referral. And like take a total stranger who says I can look after a child and is not able to do that, you know. So I actually found someone. She was looking for a job for a helper and she says she's good with kids and she's good with house chores and so i called that girl asked that girl on twitter to give me a number so i can chat her properly so she can explain to me why she's referring this person so she i call her and she tells me and sounds she sounded impressive eh? so i hired i interviewed i think three four people and she was the best one and i had doubts because she had a small baby though and she was going to be live out so i thought hey this person might not rock up but i ended up going for her because the other ones that I interviewed, like the one was a Miss Know It All. I didn't want someone like that. She was already like telling me what to do as I was interviewing her because I was sitting with my baby. So I hired that person. She was amazing. I could nap. She could take care of my baby. I even like got to go out a bit. That's actually when I did my driver's license. 
and go get it. I did it late, but she was amazing. I absolutely loved her. But the agreement was that she'd only work until I go back to work because she couldn't be 11 because she's married and she remember she had a very small baby at the time. So I let go of her when it was time for me to let go of her. And then after the Levat nanny left, I decided that I'm gonna go um, in the agency route because they are apparently more trained, <laughs> probably have experience, they have referrals. It's a professional. If I'm not happy with the person, I can always go exchange them. And so I look for this agency, it's in Midrand, and it had a lot of people from Lesotho for some reason. I don't know if they are looking for, they recruit mainly Lesotho people because I think majority of the people that were there were from Lesotho and even that I interviewed was from Lesotho. So they had different age groups, you could tell them what you want and they would then bring the candidates. But from my interviews at the agency, I, they didn't listen to what I was asking for because sometimes I would tell them I don't want a person over 50, for example, and they would, bid it, they would bring a 63-year-old. So basically, I was just in, like, wasting my time with other people, and that just showed me why I didn't want certain ages, for example. But yeah, I hired this lady, and she was okay like I thought she was a perfect candidate she knew how to look after kids although the kids that she looked after were slightly older but she said she had experience with like smaller kids and she was a mother herself <laughs> that lady would just sit like this guys there was so much work to be done around the house when my baby was sleeping or I was with the baby and she didn't know how to feed the baby she would force him and this was a person who has experience with kids and has her own kids but she was struggling a lot and she was a bit rude because when you would give her instructions she would like dismiss dismiss you in a way or she would pretend like she's listening or she'd look at you like this and you would ask do you get what i'm saying and she would say yes and later she doesn't do it when you go back to her she says she didn't understand how when we're speaking the same language because i'm so true so Anna, you are so true but okay she would say she didn't understand when i asked her if she understands and she would say yes so <laughs> that one also lasted only a month okay, I was just like mm -mm, I can't do this and I didn't even want to replace him because I just felt like that agency had just failed me because clearly this person didn't even have training you know she doesn't know she didn't know what to do what she was doing so I doubt um, other people knew what they were doing there as well because even that lady when I asked her when did you arrive at the agency she said that day like you arrive in the morning and even same day you go for interviews at what point are you trained for your job so okay I let go of her at month end even with her I think I told her like don't come back we'll just take your clothes back to the agency <laughs> guys my husband said like he thought like there's something wrong with that lady she was just not okay like she would sit she would bath baby's clothes leave them outside until it's dark he would go ask her did you f forget about the baby's clothes she would not say anything or she'll sit in the dark not even put on the lights okay after that i got a referral from um a family of some lady who has experience with kids and loves kids and we interviewed her on a whatsapp video call and we were happy with her and she was absolutely amazing she loved kids she was good with the house my house was always clean my child was clean um she fed me hence i gained a lot of weight guys like she used to cook that lady she used to cook steamed bread maguinha guys i think even people follow me on social media were shocked at how good her maguinhas looked that's my son in the background by the way and she was a bit slightly older than me about five six years older than me and i don't know if this was a mistake from my side but i got too close to her or like yeah she became too familiar with us or with me rather and she wouldn't take instructions for me very well she would say things like ah oh, you're just a new mom you don't know what you're doing i've looked after kids so you don't need to tell me what to do even stuff like solids i'd want to feed my child certain things she would say oh this is not good for the baby why are you feeding your baby you can't make your we you can't want to make your baby vegetarian so i think because i was so close to her she was too familiar with me i could now no longer give her instructions i could not tell her anything and another thing that i 
did which i thought was a mistake was that i gave her our wi-fi password and guys initially we didn't have unkept and our data would finish like my husband would complain like no i literally topped up yesterday because the data that normally lasts is finished and this person is busy like she was on whatsapp groups so many whatsapp groups and they send voice notes and you know like people from Lesotho apparently they have like this whatsapp group for help us people who work in south africa so i think there they would gossip actually i don't think i know because she once told me that people are complaining about their bosses and they do this, this, this. so this that's a platform where they talk about us guys they talk about us and also because i think she was referred by family i think that's why i was so comfortable with her and she started with us when i was quite depressed if i have to say postpartum had me and she helped me a lot um and we had our fights towards the end and basically my main issue was that she was not listening to me um but would i hire her i would i would because she loved my son and i was happy with her work is the my only problem was that she was sort of a miss know it all so you couldn't really tell her what to do but but i sacrificed to bring her back i would and this is the same power that tested um positive i'll also link that video about my helper testing positive up here she went home for december when she came back she tested positive for covid we had asked her to retest but she refused and said she won't come back if she needs to retest so that's how we ended up going our separate ways but i was already having doubts about bringing her back but because she was so good at what she does i was willing to sacrifice at least one more year yeah and we had like the way we separated was not nice especially from her side but we spoke now and we were okay and i would consider hiring her and i think next time i'm just you know what will i do differently definitely no wi-fi password also i'll have to there'll have to be boundaries like i can't talk to her about certain things and she must also know that as as much as i'm younger than her i'm still her boss so she left in january and then there was that time when my son went to crash which i still have to update you guys about <laughs> okay after that what happened after that while zucania was still a bit sick i went to a friend of mine and her helper was helping her occasionally so she's looking told me she told me she's looking for a job and she's good with kids she was working with a child but now she came back late from lesotho so her boss had hired someone else or something like that but i i think because i was so desperate i was really struggling with work and with sukanya and he's sick sometimes when he goes to school he goes half day you know it was a lot and i just hired the person because she's good with the house according to my friend and she has experience with kids so i had her she was a live out she stays close to our place so she, we would pick her up in the mornings and drive her back because of covid after some time i saw her we can't keep this up rather her to use a taxi at least it's one taxi and local it doesn't get full i think she got used to like being picked up being dropped off that when she had to start using a taxi she would always be late and we gave her additional money for the taxi she would always be late and then she started complaining that the money that we're giving her is too little we're actually supposed to be giving her this much this much i'm like hey, are you gonna tell me about minimum wage do you know that we're paying you even more than the minimum wage don't come with it here because if you have to now apply rules and stuff you will know that i am actually giving you more than minimum wage you know but okay, i adjusted her salary a tiny bit because i'm thinking she am transport but we're already giving her extra money because as soon as we said we're, gonna, we're not gonna pick you up and drop you off we gave her an additional amount for transport so this lady was always late guys she was always late and i was not happy with her another thing i think because she was friends with my friends or they she was also familiar with my friend she would always make comments about my weight like you are too big why are you eating two slices of bread and you're not losing weight why are you doing this the one day she packed my wardrobe i packed my wardrobe then she was like why do you still have small clothes in your wardrobe i'm gonna put them separately 
oh no i put them separately and i'm like why then she's like no they're small so what must i do with them i'm like pick them back and then she said so i must pick them back even though they're small and i said yes <laughs> pick them back they're mine i will separate them when i am ready which is what i did i separated them when i was ready and yeah but she was too familiar like she was always complaining about this she wanted that she wanted so many favors she wanted to be ubered back and forth because she stays quite close but i mean if i'm gonna it's about a 50 rand ride to her place now i must pay 50 rand for her to come in the morning or to go back why why Yo, but she was talking too much. She was too comfortable. Like, I was so depressed. Already, I am having my own problems with my weight. So, I can't afford someone now to be telling me, you know, you're eating two slices of bread and you're not losing weight. Why don't you just give up? Why? So, I ended up letting her go as well. And then, I got back, you know, the helper that I had that was a live out. I got her back and she was on time-ish. But, yeah, not, like, when I left her, she was pregnant. I let her go she she just told me that she's pregnant as well so when she came here i think she was going through a lot with her baby her kids are small two kids her husband doesn't really help financially so i think she had too many problems that like she was messing up so much like she would come in the mornings and sit outside with my son in the sun the whole day she wouldn't clean she would leave dishes here until like 30 minutes before she needs to leave um, my son had two happy rashes in the time that she was here in the two months uh, two months that she was here so yeah she was not focused she, she was messing up a lot she would dye our clothes dye my son's clothes with bleach like why are you using bleach on my son's clothes guys and yeah i unfortunately had to let her go because she wasn't focused my son's um wipes that would last a week or two which last two days a packet of wipes guys was like lasting two days so i think she was also taking some of my baby stuff for herself and i let her go unfortunately but we love her still i think she's just going through a lot at the moment so <laughs> so the current nanny that we have it was also a referral from twitter i don't know i just i don't learn but guys we decided to go for someone younger this time i just heard that she's good with kate someone was looking for a helper for her baby um someone that was looking after her baby and she was standing in for her sister the sister went back home in lesotho so she was standing in for the sister so now this girl was looking for a job for the for the stand-in so then she told me she's 28 and i was like what <laughs> guys We've been told a lot about young helpers. And if you watch the river, you will know what Nyakala did to Lindy. So even that, even till now, I'm still getting warnings. But I've only, I've gotten older people and they've just been like, they're so controlling. There are too many problems. We're not focused. They were lazy. My son is a toddler. He's active. So he needs someone to keep up with him. So we decided to go for someone younger and we've heard her for like a month now but the young helper the thing that i'm having a problem with at the moment is that she's on her phone a lot but okay, she's young so you would expect that um but other than that she's okay it's not bad also had a concern also with experience she's not too experienced so some of the things we basically learning together or i have to teach her some things whereas the other helpers my baby would cry for example when they start and they would know let me just take him outside let me put him on my back whatever and after a few days they will be fine with her it took quite long so i really hope that i don't get burnt <laughs> please pray for me <laughs> um and hopefully next year when my son is too this whole covid thing would be better be gone and we can take my son to school so yeah so i had a couple of nannies how many were they one two three four five i think this is number six <laughs> in 21 months <laughs> so guys yeah, like i'm really really tired please do share your nanny stories in the comment section down below if you have any advice for me or you have video suggestions please let me know in the comment section down below 
I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed my nanny dilemma story. And please like the video if you did enjoy it. Share it with your friends and family and other mummies. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So until the next one, bye.